hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is amita mitra and i'm the host on this channel i hope you guys are doing great and i hope god is protecting all of you it's really been a long time since i talked to you guys since i did such a video i always love such videos because there is this fulfillment that i get that i am talking to you guys because me being before the camera i feel like you guys are behind there and we are having a conversation so such videos give me a lot of satisfaction unfortunately i've not been doing these videos for quite some time now i think three to four months if i'm not mistaken why because i was totally down i was sick i was really sick in between i dropped in a few videos i really forced myself to do some videos and drop them in between but clearly for those of you who are so keen you knew i wasn't fine i was all swollen as I, I was really not fine guys i was sick i was battling with some disease and i really want to thank god that i'm finally free and fine from it and um in the near future i think i'll open up to you guys i know what i went through could be something that so many of you guys are passing through or even don't know that you're passing through and you just need someone to talk to you about it and remind you that you have to go and do a checkup and find out if you have it always go even before i do that video guys you should go and check up like do a general body checkup and find out if you are fine we are always reluctant to to do those body checkups but there is so much in our bodies that we really need to sort out you should go and do a general body checkup and find out if there is anything not right with you and treat it before it gets worse because once you get to know it at a later time it really disturbs you it it gets you so down just like it was for my case by the time i got to know about it it was really bad it was so so bad i'll open up very very soon i'll do a video for all of you guys because sharing is caring i'll definitely do a video for all of us and we will learn a thing or two from that video as but today let's concentrate on what today's video is all about as you guys can see in the comment section uh, sorry in the title down below you already know what i am going to talk about so today i want to talk about opening up a dollar account why am i bringing this right now why am i even talking about it do i even need to talk about it yes i think i need to talk about it to help so many people out there so many of us are not informed so many ugandans are not informed and i i don't know how it is in those other countries but as for uganda i know so many of us are not informed recently i started my youtube channel in my youtube journey in 2019 may and thankfully enough before the year ended i was already monetized youtube was paying me so at that, at that time, YouTube requested me to tell them how I needed to be paid. And so um, my only option was Western Union because at that particular time, I never thought I would ever need a dollar account. I, I never, it never crossed my mind. I never thought about it. But um, fast forward in 2020, YouTube texts us again okay emails us sends us emails i think most of you youtubers got those emails and youtube was telling us that effective 2021 january youtube will now stop sending us money through western union and that we needed to change the way we receive money and of course here in uganda the only alternative means for us to receive money from google or youtube is through opening up a dollar account i went to absa and their requirements were way favorable for me the requirements were good enough for me and then their terms and conditions were also good enough for me so i settled in with absa bank so what did they ask for they asked me for my national id they asked me for a passport size photograph one colored and then they asked me for proof of payment proof that youtube stroke google adsense is paying me someone out there would be asking me what is the proof that youtube or google adsense is paying me those messages or emails that youtube already sends us every month when our payment is ready are the evidence that youtube or google adsense is paying you go to uh, the cafe or your offices and print them out print out those 
payments and then attach them if you are also working for a reputable organization out there and you don't want to go through the hassle of showing the bank how youtube pays you you can just present your work national sorry your work id i'm so used to national id your work id but your company has to be so reputable like known and all that it has to be a very big company for the bank to consider your id so if you're working for un or those big big organizations you can just present your your id and the bank will go ahead and <coughs> <coughs> sorry and work on you and open up an account for you then the beauty about absa is that they asked me for a minimum of 20 dollars to open up my account now why am i calling that beautiful i am calling that beautiful for those youtubers who are just starting their youtube career so many people out there are starting their youtube career and they don't have enough money so if they go to open up an account and they're asking them for a minimum of a hundred dollars some of them especially here in uganda can't afford that so you find someone hustling i mean finding hard time to open up a dollar account because they don't have that minimum of a hundred dollars to open up that account so with absa they only asked me for twenty dollars which is approximately eighty thousand ugandan shillings if i'm not mistaken yes that is good enough that is money that anyone can juggle around and get and then um <coughs> sorry guys and the other thing about absa was they told me because it is a savings account you don't you as a youtuber why would you open up a current account you don't need a current account you need a savings account so they told me with my savings account they will not deduct anything monthly the way my money comes that is it they're not deducting anything on a monthly basis uh, so happy with that and then um they said they would deduct 11 dollars at every withdrawal every time i'm withdrawing money they will deduct 11 dollars from my my account but i have one free withdrawal every quarter every three months if uh for example if if i am if i withdraw let me say Ma january february and march I might withdraw in January and they will deduct the $11. Then February, they will deduct the $11 at withdraw only. Then in March, they, they, they will not deduct because they said, I always have one free withdraw at every quarter. So every three months, you are sure of one free withdraw with ABSA. So I found that very favorable for me as a meter i don't know how favorable it is for you but i might not have gone to all the banks but before you open your bank account with any bank kindly go and inquire seek for knowledge before these banks take your money these banks will take your money and you'll be working for the banks if you're really not serious about your money and guarding it so that is it about opening up a dollar account it's not that hard guys it's not that hard don't be scared there is nothing much they need those are the few requirements that and i'm very sure most of the bank most of the banks ask for that uh same those same requirements that absa asked from me the only difference comes in on the charge how much they charge you per withdrawal and how much they charge you every month that is if they charge you and how much minimum balance you need to have as you're opening up the account so with that said i hope you guys have learned a thing or two i might not be I, I might not have been so clear with my explanation but i know you guys picked one or two things if there is anything more you need to ask me kindly ask for it in the comment section down below so i'll not only talk about the good things about absa it also has disadvantages because um when i opened up my account it clearly took me about one week for me to get my account number and swift code um i thought it would be instant but it wasn't so i don't know about other banks probably other banks give you feedback immediately that same day or the following day but as for absa they took one full week you guys like one week of which i even had to remind them call them and tell them when ask them when my account was going to be opened and it was opened up a week because i went on a monday and then i got it the following monday 
yes so that's it about opening up an account with a dollar account with a ugandan bank in case of any information you would like to know that i've not talked about ask in the comment section below whoever knows about it will answer you and if i also know about it i'll also give you a response otherwise thank you guys so much for watching i can't wait to see you in my other videos i love you guys so so much May God bless you and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.